now let's see about energy the first is electrical energy so what is electrical energy a form of energy that is produced when electrons move from one place to another place is called as electrical energy energy caused by the movement of electrons easily transported through power lines and it is getting to be converted into other forms of energy you can see the movement of electrons which is getting to be easily transported through the power lines let's see about it in more clearly about the energy so this is a kind of energy specification in general of quantum physics we know that energy are considered to be higher and lower if we consider laser the excited atoms are put between two mirrors A first photon stimulates an atom which emits an energy. You can see the resulting photons which are identical. They have the same energy which gives them the same color and unique direction. Now let's talk about chemical energy. Chemical energy is nothing but the energy that is available for release from chemical reactions the chemical bonds in a match strip stores energy that is transformed into thermal energy and electromagnetic energy that is nothing but when the match is struck which it is getting to be considered as one such example of releasing the chemical energy and also chemical energy is a type of stored energy that is released by chemical reactions fuels food and batteries are containing some kind of chemical energy in it when a fuel burns energy is released by a chemical reaction with oxygen and also respiration is the process used by the body to release the chemical energy stored in digested food so these are considered to be some of the examples of chemical energy now let's move on to thermal energy so what is thermal energy is nothing but the energy of moving particles in a substance is said to be called as thermal energy thermal energy is otherwise called as heat energy the first and foremost consideration of thermal energy is the temperature and heat temperature is related to the average kinetic energy of the particles in a substance you can find some examples of temperature and heat over here In general all the objects have thermal energy so thermal energy is considered to be the energy of a substance which is having due to the kinetic energy of its particle the more thermal energy a material has the hotter it will be So here are some examples of thermal energy. So this one is considered to be the ice which is a frozen water which is having the least thermal energy. Its molecules have little kinetic energy and so are it is unable to move past to each other. Liquid water has more thermal energy. So this is the liquid water. Its molecules have its molecules have kinetic energy and they can be moved 
past each other but are still held together and this is considered to be the water vapor which is having the most thermal energy its molecules have lots of kinetic energy and are moving so fast because they are no longer held together 